welcome back. It's me, the Grampian Farmer. You join me here on Eureka Farms for episode one of my new Let's Play. We're up here on field four. We are doing a seeding contract, putting in oats for the farmer. I've already done, as you can see, it's day two of early spring. I've already done uh, yesterday and most of today. There's a little snip snippets you have seen beforehand on this video, showing you a couple different uh, implements and tractors I was driving for the local farmers in the area. I hired their equipment, so I didn't get the maximum amount of money, but by the looks of it, on this map, it's gonna be really easy to earn some money. Right now I've got Courseplay working here. He's working away in this field. I'll need to keep an eye on him and go and get him some seeds very soon. Uh, in the meantime, I have this John Deere 4840. It's 203 horsepower. It's a four-wheel drive version. I've got dual wheels on the back, and there's weights up front as well. Cracking little tractor to start off with, only cost me about 65,000 in total. I've actually got two of them. I will jump over. Here's my other one. Exactly the same, uh, same horsepower. It's just got narrow wheels for fertilizing. And also, I have the Caverneland uh, Exacta Geospread. TLX Geospread. It's 45 meters. And I've also got this shed. and bought this plot of land as well. Didn't think I'd manage to do this early in the game, but we're here. Got this silo. CNS. And also, if you notice in the corner here, I've got a log cabin. Now, this isn't a sleep trigger. This earns £80 an hour, according to what it says in the description. So, I plonked that in. It's only about £2,000 a day, but it's just something. It kind of recuperates the cost for, like, that. the silo there was 8000 to put in for my seeds and fertilizer. So, you know, the first week that kind of that pays off that silo and some of the groundwork I did, I I kind of filled in a wee bit of uh, tar here. I think it's tar. Yeah. So, you'll join me back again. I'm going to run over really quickly. Back over to field four. I'm going to finish up that field today. And you'll see me bright and early tomorrow morning. Or day three in early spring. We should have another few contracts to seed in. And we'll get a few fertilizing contracts done as well. So we'll see you tomorrow. Here we are on day three. We're heading down to field 11 to plant canola. We've got the 4840 and the Lemkin Cedar. So we are in field 10 just now, planting the sunflowers. I've got the other tractor working on a course play course up in field 3. He's just finishing the headland on that just now with the other, or oh, it's a 4440 and I've got a 4840 here. This is the 203 horse, this is the bigger version. Uh, with the twin back wheels, I use this for my seeding. And the other one's got the fertilizer on it, the 45 meter spread Caverneland uh, Geo spread. He's got that on, he's nearly finished field three. We'll pop him over to field four. As you can see, there's a lot of contracts just now. Um, they're all fertilizing. This is my last seeding one. We're all onto fertilizing. So I'm gonna crack on here. I'm gonna see how much I get done. I'll finish this field. I don't know. There's big money in fertilizing, but I don't know if it's worth maybe taking the tractor down to the workshop, putting narrow wheels on and buying another spreader, because it's 40 something thousand. I uh, know 25,000 I think it is. I'll have to check that. Anyway, I'll crack on here and we will see you up uh, some point in field four for fertilizing. So see you then. Okay, that's us just finishing field four. It's already finished the contract, but 
I'd be as well just going to the end of the field route I was just here. Now, field 4 is quite big, but it doesn't take long with this, uh, with this fertilizer, which is quite handy. Um, I have it set quite low as well with my variable spray rate. I did have course play running as well, this is the end of the track here, but I'm in control. Just nip that a little bit there, and there we go. Right, field 4. 91,480 pounds. That's madness for fertilizing, but I'll happily collect that. We've still got the sowing here, it's actually due to be done now. Field 10 of the sunflowers. Um, we have still quite a few fields to fertilize. I did notice a weeding one. I think it's called. Yeah, there was one with weeding. Oh well. Good job I didn't go and invest in that machine then, wasn't it? Right, I'm going to shoot down and do field 7, because we're up here in field 4. There's me on the left hand side of field 4 at the bottom. We'll do field 7, and then I plan to do field 8 and 9. Then the cedar will be finished in field 10, hopefully. Well, it will be by the time I'm over there. I can kind of go 7, 8, 9, fertilize field 10. I'll maybe buy another fertilizer and change my wheels to narrow wheels on the 44. No, the 48 40. I'll change the wheels on, sorry. Let's see if I can put narrows on that. I'll buy another fertilizer and I'll put him over on field 5 and 6 and 11. And I should be able to get field 13. I'll see what kind of time we've got left in the day, so that's maybe that's maybe pushing it a bit too much. We can maybe join up, team up for field 12. And I'll set up a tandem course play. And I'll get a few good shots there. So I will finish field 7. Uh, I'll start on field 8, but I'll course play field 8. And you will see in the next clip what I've decided to do. Whether I park the tractor up and leave it, or if I go and get different wheels and get a nice fertilizer spreader for them. But, I'll see you there. Well, the rain's coming down quite heavy now, so I am just away to park up at the shed and leave it overnight and see what happens tomorrow with the weather. So we'll see you tomorrow morning. So here we are, quarter to eight on day four of mid-spring and if you haven't seen already I should have had a clip earlier but I couldn't find one. I did take the 4840 down to the shop and got that double tires on the back changed for single narrows all round. Bought another fertilizer and here we go. We'll just try and crack on through the fields today. We have a lot to cover as all the fields have come up needing fertilised. So, let's get on with it. Okay, this is field 13. We have done fields 2, 4, 6 and 12. Uh, between field 6 and 12 we had to stop at the shop and fill up fertiliser because it didn't seem that we finished at the bottom, the uh, south eastern side. So, didn't think it was worth going uh, back up to the to the farm right up on the north side of field 1 beside the gas station so we just nipped in by the shop, refilled 
and did field 12, and we are starting field 13 here. We'll be going across to field 11, then to 5, and back up to get the tractors washed, I think. I think that would do us for today. There is a couple more fertilising contracts, I think there's, uh, I think it's 8, 9, and 10, I think. I'll check. We need field, yep, 8, 9, and 10 to do. So we're going to collect our money from these ones. I still can't believe £91,500 for field 4. That's just to fertilise it. So we are collecting them. Um, we are 34% through field 13. Then we'll do field 11, up to field 5, then back to the farm. We'll maybe see about fields 8, 9, and 10 tomorrow. I'll send one tractor down and they'll do that fields there. So now that puts us to £701,116. And we're only on day 4 of the spring. We're doing 9 day seasons. These two are set on course plate just now. It's... I have tried to get a few shots of these working together, but... They're just too far apart to get a good shot. So I'll maybe see about doing it when we come to harvesting. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I was thinking about maybe buying another tractor just now with a front loader. And doing a bit around the farm. And expanding. I was thinking about maybe buying a field. Um. I just don't know what to do, because, you know, by the time I finish this fertilising contract, there's a few more to come through again for the third stage of fertilising. I don't know whether it needs weeding or not yet, but, you know, we could be, I don't know, it's going to be close on a million, but we're certainly not going to be far from a million. Um, I'm just not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I'll have to figure that out, I suppose. Anyway. I'll let these two crack on. I'm going to have a look up to my farm quickly while these two are doing this field and see what I can think of for upgrades. I was looking at one of the John Deere combines, so I was because it's quite easy to make the money on this map. The Let's Play series probably isn't going to be as long as I would like it to, but I have... Oh, well, there's three maps that all look really good to do my next let's play on so I don't know which one to choose I will make a small list of them and see by the end of these this let's play I'm hopefully going to be starting my new one on the new map so if anyone comments see what map you would like me to do my next let's play on but I'll leave it there just now I'll let these guys finish off this field and the other two fields on the map. Um, and we'll see what tomorrow brings. So we'll see you... This may be the next video, but we'll see you tomorrow morning. Or possibly episode two of Eureka Farms. We'll see you there. Well, that's us on day six of mid-spring. Uh, we've kind of run out of contracts now. Uh, finished off a couple of fertilising contracts kind of late on last night, and I did one this morning for field 12. Hey, I had just over, I think it was a million pounds, just over. So as you can see, I've spent uh, just over half a million. We started off with the, with the two John Deere's, the 4440 and the 4840. Uh, we started with both of them, uh, we had the Lemkin uh, Cedar and the two Cavernaland Fertilizer Spreaders you can see there and they're still in the back of the John Deere's. We took them for a wash. But we've expanded a little bit, uh, bought a pressure washer, a few more lights to the yard. And you'll know about the seed tank and the fuel bowser. I had a couple of lights down the side here, I had plants that I was going to do but Never really got around to do them. You know about the log cabin already. Bought this new shed. A couple of lights around about it. Uh, a new grain cart. And a new trailer and truck. That's... I'm preparing for harvest. 
I know it's a, a while away yet, but I'm preparing for harvest, so I've got it ready to go. I'm just trying to leave enough money to the side just now. I'm thinking about a John Deere S790 Combine. A, I was originally going to get two, but I thought I need a truck trailer and it would be better to get a grain cart to go into the field. It's a chaser bin to take grain from the combine out to the edge of the field to the truck, fill it up, and then when he's full, he's going to go at the cell point. It's going to work a little easier having you know, two trailers instead of working one all the time and having to race about. But we'll see how many contracts come between now and harvest. Uh, we might be able to get a second combine. I haven't got one as yet, but I did buy a 2,000 litre bucket. Uh, and I also got a big bag handler from the CSZ pack. I also bought myself a nice John Deere. A newer one with a front loader, just to do odds and ends round about the farm. Something handy to have. So that's about it just now. There's no contracts as yet. So I'm just going to clean up some tractors. Uh, get everything looking good. I still need to wash the cedar. Haven't had a chance to do that yet. Always been out fertilizer. So I'm going to get the tractors washed. The fertilizers washed. Maybe I'll leave one of them out. I'll leave the other one in the shed just now. Because I don't think there's much fertilizing to do left. Uh, and I will get the cedar washed parked up. And I will see you for episode 2, hopefully day 7 mid-spring. If not, there's no contracts came through, and I will see you hopefully before summer starts. So we'll see you then in episode 2. Thanks for watching.